AITA for making my kids wait to open their Christmas gifts? AITA for making my kids wait to open their Christmas gifts? The background I have three kids. Two are in high school and one is 12. The 12 year old got really sick on the 23rd. The eve of Christmas Eve. 103.8 fever. Aches. Tummy hurt. He just felt lousy. I put him to bed and he stayed there all day on the 24th. By that night, he still was very sick. Normally we open family presents on Christmas Eve, but we decided to wait. My 12-year-old is at that age where I don't think he believes. But he wants to sew after I put him to bed. Santa came and we all crossed our fingers there would be a Christmas miracle and he would feel better. By Christmas morning, when we normally open Santa presents, he really tried to get up he took a shower. Said he was well enough to go down and see what Santa brought. But took one look at the presents. Turned right around and went back upstairs and crawled into bed. I said we would wait to open gifts until he was better. But one of my teens had an attitude about it all day and tonight my husband said he felt bad that we made the kids wait to open their gifts. Now I'm second guessing everything. I thought it would be cruel to let the kids open their gifts while their little brother was sick. Upstairs but tonight my husband said we should have let them open their gifts and he has me feeling like an asshole. I suppose I could have picked out a couple of gifts for them to open. But I have no idea which gifts are which. Santa wraps everything in red paper and many of the packages look similar. Even though they have the kids' names on them. I have no idea which gifts are which. So it's hard to pick out a couple. I didn't want one kid to open a pair of socks and another kid to open their big gift. Tonight, my 12-year-old seems to be improving a bit his fever now around 102 but he stayed in bed sleeping all day and I'm just really hoping he's much better tomorrow. Not only does he feel lousy, he feels like he ruined Christmas, which I keep telling him not to worry about. So, basically I didn't think I was asking too much for making the kids wait. It's not like I'll make them wait for days and days but my husband now thinks that making them wait was wrong. Maybe it was. Maybe I am an asshole for making my older kids wait to open their Christmas presents until their little brother felt well enough to join them. So I really want to know. Am I the asshole? NTA I have two with fevers. I haven't even wrapped yet. The kids all know what's going on and are okay with it. I'm sure yours will be fine. 2. Red Heart. Gentle YTA. You could have gone up to his room to open presents or carried him downstairs and wrapped him up in blankets. I understand wanting to wait until he was feeling better. But, TBH, he's still running a fever and he's not going to feel better for a while. The minute he starts feeling better, he's going to overdo it, which will set his recovery back by a few days. Even though you're not asking for advice, I strongly suggest you call the pediatrician in the morning. I only say this because, while he could very well have the flu or COVID, it could also be a nasty ear or sinus infection. I have had those go rogue, particularly an ear infection when I was 14 that nearly killed me because I'm a freak and can't feel them. They are not fun. Hope your kiddo starts feeling better soon. NTA. I can understand the people saying that letting the other kids open their presents wouldn't have impacted him at all but I think it depends more on how your family typically does Christmas. I know for mine, the gift opening is very much a family event. We hand out gifts one by one. Like give a person a gift. They open it, then give someone else a gift. So everyone gets a chance to kind of hang out and see what everyone got given your other children are older. In high school, I can understand asking them to wait a bit for the sake of the younger. Plus this seems like a small family Christmas celebration with just the immediate family. So waiting a bit makes even more sense. I get why the other kids may be a bit annoyed. 
But as cliche as it sounds Christmas is supposed to be about family. Not just the gifts. Makes sense that you want to wait if one third of the children can't be present. I'm going with NTA. As a sibling. WTF to the rest of you nasty selfish people. I would literally postpone Christmas. And have. If someone I loved was too sick to participate that day. You are. Very softly. And only because there were so many ways to pilot this better. 1. Could you open gifts in your son's room? Or was it contagious? If no. Disregard. If you could. Yeah it'd be a pain in the ass. But ultimately better. And gets the inclusivity you wanted. 2. Ask your sick son his views. Does he care if everyone opens presents without him? If yes. Disregard. If no. That could be a very silly hill to die on. 3. Open all gifts not involving him. To and from. Yes. It's not ideal. But realistically. This is the safest balance of your kids needs. You have no idea how much longer 12 will be sick. And breaking your ideal of opening together on a later date is asking for mutiny. I fully empathize with wanting your whole family included. I imagine there's more context to this reaction from some other private aspect of your life. But it can't be overbearing on your other kids. I hope you sort this out well. And have a Merry Christmas. Get well soon kiddo. YTA. Actions like this create resentment among siblings. YTA.1. I'd bet good money you just want your son to believe in Santa still. Not that he wants to believe, too. Did Santa not label the presents? How does them opening them all together make it easier to sort out whose is whose? Point three. There were so many options other than no presents. Sounds like only one person in the family is clinging to your son being a little kid and it's not him. I have seven siblings. I'm right in the middle of the pack. And when I was eight or nine, I was too sick to open presents. I stayed in bed. And everyone else opened presents mine were put aside. The next day my parents sat with me and watched me open my gifts. I didn't care if I was the only one doing it. I felt special because I had my parents' complete attention. Even at that age, I would have been shocked if it all waited on me. And I have to ask. What time or day you open your presents what does that have to do with Santa? Or everyone opening gifts together have to do with him? I don't get the reasoning. YTA for taking Christmas away from everyone else. I understand he was under the weather, but what would be wrong with him doing his separately? YTA. Just because your kids are older doesn't mean Christmas morning magic is gone. If you live in an area where celebrating Christmas is common, and you have traditions behind it, they have likely been looking forward to that moment for a long time. Talking to their friends about it, getting texts etc. from friends about what they got, it's great that one of your teens was okay. But to be upset at the second one is irrational. I think a lot of people regardless of age would have felt the same. To look forward to that tradition and have it taken away feels like you are punishing them. Whenever you open gifts now, it's just not the same. YTA. Let your other kids open their gifts now. NTA, they're not gonna die, they can wait a couple more days. YTA did you even ask your kid if he wants his siblings to wait for son? I'm going nah. You were put in a tough space. But you picked a fair solution. Christmas is about time with family. And for kids that is gift opening time. It's fair to your sick kid. And a good lesson to the older kids that this time is not supposed to be focused on presents. I loved opening gifts right away as a kid. I think this would torture me a little too. But they will still get the gifts. And they will get over it. Everyone will open them together. And that's way more in the Christmas spirit. 
I will say that if your youngest was asked if it would be okay to open some, all gifts without him, that would have probably gotten you a better ending. Either he says yes and they see us and open their stuff, possibly saving one gift each to open with him later. Or he says no, he'd prefer they open them together. And you have the backing of a sick child on Christmas for your plan to wait. Just saying. But I hope everyone had a good time in the end anyway. Merry Christmas dude. YTA kind of. YTA. You were asking too much. There was no reason everyone had to open their presents at the same time. You ruined Christmas. YTA. And all you did was make the situation worse because your other children are going to resent your son as well as you for prioritizing his feelings. They shouldn't have had to give up their holiday. YTA. You missed the spirit of giving. The purpose of gifts is to give not achieve your perfect, contrived moment. Could you image if you teach your son to believe? If I can't participate, no one can. It would be such a disservice. It was sad that your son couldn't open gifts with the family. But sometimes people get sick. Maybe, if it's convenient, you could have the older children gather round when he is feeling well enough to open his. Mom. Forget about the presents for a second point one zero three point eight. Did you call the doctor? Has he been tested for flu and COVID? Please, please tell me you called the pediatrician and talked to the on-call doctor. Please. And as to presents, the solution here might have been even simpler than all this bellyache. Did you ask the kids? My guess is your 12 was sick enough he didn't care or he would have been parked on the couch asleep. I wouldn't have had the other kids wait. Especially at 12. This is one your kid is going to get. I'm willing to bet he wouldn't have wanted anyone else to wait. Softly. Because I get why. YTA. YTA. You denied your older children a Christmas because of the possibility that your 12-year-old might still believe in Santa? And because you couldn't remember what you wrapped, they couldn't even open a single gift? You prioritized your 12-year-old feelings and completely ignored the feelings of your other two. Children. I'm shocked by all the gentle YTA. I have three kids. I can't imagine punishing two of them just because their sibling is sick. Not even hospitalized. Just running a mild fever in the other room. That kind of favoritism is toxic. Your teens are rightfully upset and this will be a Christmas they remember for all the wrong reasons. You should apologize. NTA it's not like the teens won't get their gifts in the end. I thought Christmas wasn't about the gifts but about being together and having fun. Ask them if they would have liked it if they were sick and the rest would celebrate without them. If you enjoyed this video. Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.